Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Machine Builder, and today I'll be teaching you how to create cool renders of your Minecraft mobs. So the mob I'm going to be rendering is my Mimic mob. It's basically just a chest. Uh, yeah, that's the mob. So first things first, we're going to open up block bench. All right, so you're going to want to find where your model is, and then right-click it and open up with block bench. So now that we have the mob in here, I know it looks a little bit funny, but that's fine. So I'm just going to go file export as obj and now just export it to the folder that you want i'm going to call this mob.obj and i'm going to put it into here just somewhere i know now I close block bench because we're done with that and i open up blender which you can actually go ahead and download from blender.org over here just download it doesn't matter i'm using blender 2.9 2.91 will also work so that's fine this is that scenery setup before but you probably saw it at the start of the video but first things first, I'm just going to make a new scene to show you all how to do this. So I delete the default cube by pressing delete on your keyboard, and then go file, import obj, and now find where you saved it. So I call this mob.obj in here, and here it is. So here is the mob, and you can tell there's some texture clipping going on. That's fine, it doesn't really matter. Uh, one thing you'll notice though, is in Blender, to rotate things, you press R on your keyboard, but when I do this, it just goes everywhere. So if I press RX to rotate it only along the X axis, you can see it's not rotating by where it should. Considering the fact that this is the top of the chest, it should open up to like this bit here. It should open to like there, but it doesn't, which is weird. So we're gonna click this top part and then press tab to go into edit mode. Press two on your keyboard or click this button up here to swap to edge mode and then select this edge here and press shift S on your keyboard and set cursor to selected and now you can tap out of edit mode so you can see this little thing over here on this edge which is where we want it to rotate by so when right click set origin origin to 3d cursor and now if you rotate it it'll move on that correct axis and on that joint and another thing you'll notice though is that the teeth are not moving with the chest so if i just look to here these aren't moving at all, they're staying there, looks a bit weird. Now uh, another thing you'll notice is the texture is very blurry. So you can go over to the material tab, base color, change it to closest, and now you have sharp textures. But basically we want the teeth parts to actually move with the chest because currently they're just around here, there's also some in here, which is a bit weird. But we want those to move with the layers, so I'm just going to click these hide so I press H on the keyboard to hide them so H H H and I'm gonna hide this bit so now we have just the teeth and the front part of the chest you can press alt Z on your keyboard to go into x-ray mode or click this button up here but so once we have these two pieces I'm just gonna quickly unrotate this by pressing alt R and then rotating it by 90 degrees up so we go we're gonna shift click both of these teeth pieces and the front piece and then I'm going to shift click this top piece of the chest and hit control P and parent it with the transform so now it will move when I rotate this now I can press alt H to unhide everything but I can just rotate it away like that and now we want to parent this, these pieces to the base part as well so I'm just going to select both those and then control P keep transform I'm going to parent the bottom of the tongue to here transform and now I can hide all these pieces and parent this piece to this piece and I'm just going to do it in a little like this there we go now they're all parented in a line directly that way so they all follow each other so now if we tap into edit mode for each of these I'm going to select this edge go to the selected and set origin to set all the origin points so they all rotate around the correct points, so I want them to rotate like this instead of like this. So I'm just going to do that for each of the pieces. Okay, so there we go. That is all set up, so now they all rotate correctly. As you can tell. And if I just press Alt H to unhide this and rotate this back up to the normal angle, you can tell we have this now which looks a bit better. 
Um, obviously one thing you need to do, Blender starts by default in Eevee, so you'll see something like this, which will not give you accurate reflections. So what you can do is over here swap to cycles, and then you get better lighting. So you'll actually get reflections this time. Um, so I'm just going to set up a little action shot. Uh, another thing you'll notice actually, before we continue, there's the transparency here. So we're going to hop over to the shading tab up the top. And then over here, we're going to press Shift A, type in transparent to add this node in. And if we swap that over and swap to rendered mode, you'll see we just get very weird things. Not what we want. So we're going to put that back. Chuck in a mix shader and mix these two and then mix the alpha value. Use this alpha to control the mix and swap those around so now we get actual basically it's transparent where there's alpha in the image. Alright, so here we are. We have our model set up correctly and I'm just going to reset the 3D cursor for Shift S. Sort of world origin. I don't know why it's moving up. There we go. And I'm just going to press Shift A and add a plane and scale it up a little bit. Tab into edit mode, select these two edges and hit E and then Z to extrude it upwards. And then select these edges and bevel them so you can control B and then move the mouse to change the size and use the scroll wheel to increase the resolution. So I'm just going to do that. Right click, shade smooth. And then I'm going to grab my camera over here and hit zero on my numpad to go into the camera. And I press shift tilde, the button beside the one on your keyboard, to move the camera. So you can use WASD, E, Q, and shift to go faster to position your camera. So I'm just going to set it up here. And then I'm also going to go to the output tab and change the resolution to 1080 by 1080 to the square picture. And I'm just going to move this. And as you can tell, top part is not moving with this part. So I click this. Shift click this, parent, keep transform. Now the whole thing is one, which is correct, which is what we want. And now I'm going to go to the camera view, press R twice, so RR. R. And now we get this mode of rotation, so I can rotate it like that. Position it about there. So now we have a cool reflection, and we have nice lighting as well, but I'm going to turn the background lighting off. All this ambient light. And I'm going to just use this light. Just to do that, I have to get some cool reflections and shadows. And I'm actually going to increase the radius of this light to make it a little bit softer. So now we have that, and then it opens the power to make it more in the dark. Another thing I'm going to do is duplicate the light so over there by hitting Shift D, and then just moving the mouse. So this light, I'm going to make it blue, and this light, I'm going to make it yellow, just to give some contrast. Now, so now we can press F12 on the keyboard. And as you can tell, it looks much better than it did before. And you can then press image, save as, and save it to wherever you want for that render. That is how you create cool renders of your Minecraft mobs in Blender. And so if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you really enjoyed it, please do share it, because that helps me out a lot. Especially since I need a certain amount of views in the next three months, which I'm trying to reach with a goal to set. But thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.